So this poem is absolutely everywhere and doesn't mean a goddamn thing and spreads through every season and has no rhyme or reason, but here I'm going to go on and throw it out anyways. <laughs> New York. This winter is cold and long, even under the sun staring down, uh, uh, even under the sun staring down unobstructed, the air penetrates and freezes like regret. The sidewalk crunches under my boots and reveals ice sleeping under layers of three weeks worth of snow. I guide another cigarette to my lips and I cannot distinguish the hot smoke from the cold ghost of my breath. Brick buildings reach like fingers attached to me many buried hands, trying to find the hidden hints of spring that March might have promised before. New Utrecht weeps and coughs under the shadow of the D-train tracks as the subway moves through Brooklyn like an army marching to war. This is not a poem. There's no narrative here. Strange conspiracies appear over the atmosphere, cries themselves in fear of obedience. I'm a hungry man, a lunchable baloney man, a weird thing standing stiller than the words of my eyes that gave birth to an apostrophe. Colons and Aristophanes, Horace rode over the goat-footed pantheon with his scepter and dug his sharp angles into Orion's ageless beard. My mouth is no longer a broad-faced orifice. It's the mantelpiece that counts its fits, makes sense, and senses the greater pits of some sulfuric hell. I won't ring your bell. I'll ring you well like a sponge dipped under the, or the office spell. I have a business hidden under my skin. Want to see it? It's white and red and in desperate need of cleaning. You can sharpen it. Don't I look sharp? I'm as sharp as a baseball bat. Hello, said the baseball bat to the knees. The knees are like, rock, are like rocks. They shatter when you hit them hard enough. Sometimes you just need to make words just to see what happens. Turning and turning and turning. And I think the gyre is shrinking now. Things have already fallen apart, so who cares? What rough be in April's cruelest days, watch the best minds of our generation loaf and lead over a blade of summer grass as the, as they wandered lonely as a cloud that walks in beauty. Sometimes these things just seem vacant. Well, more like a mind caught in itself. If I really had to count, I'd probably say that I use the same 500 words over and over every time I write a poem. Can anyone really write a poem without ever repeating a word? These days leave themselves over some faint horizon. They are vertical and toppling like a child's sad set of blocks. Please let me go. Don't do these things. Oh, how vague. 3 a.m. on the D train just saw Nicholas off. Best friends? Laughing? Some relation? We spoke of nothing or I am not sorry. Only so many words can be written and rewritten to make meaning. Repetitions equals absence. Already running out words, conjunctions even. Uh, prepositions, prepositional phrases. Awake slash asleep. Over myself. Compound language. Garbage can. Street vendors. Cupcake machine blind and windowless. There's no such thing as poetry because everything is an abstract construction. A poem does not always have to make sense or even be called a poem. A poem does not always have to be linear, does not always need to feed off of metaphor. A poem does not always have to make sense or even be called a poem. I stare at people in Union Square and call it people watching, smile at a passing woman and call myself queer, and think about Peter's lips around my cock when I was 12 or Craig's lips around my tongue when I was 27 and assume this is enough. I write words on a page and call myself a poet and think about every image not present. I smile at a passing woman and call myself queer. A poem does not always have to make sense or even be called a poem. May I call, may I call myself a communist or an anarchist even though I work and pay rent? May I write a few lines in public and hope somebody will ask me about them? A a poem doesn't always have to make sense or be called a poem. You are not dead. You are dying, but you are not dead. You are dying. Your dying is of the dead, and your dead are never dying. Still, you are not dead. My dead asked me about the dying. The dead always seem to forget the dying, while the dying always remember the dead until they are also dead. Of my first disobedience, of my first disobedience, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy.
crazy dog. God, 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 word, name, meaning, G equals beginning, O equals middle, D equals end, dead-headed goat leg. Goat log. There it is. <laughs>